NXT, baby. NXT, yeah. NXT. Um, yeah, me and Missy had a little problem because the stupid star, oh, so we had a whole, <laughs> we, didn't, we watched it and buffered, buffered, buffered. Yeah, like, like, I don't know, 10 times? Yeah. Or better? But we were able to watch it. Yeah, finally. Yeah. Um, and the first match was Mia Yim. Sweetness. Versus Bianca Belair. Ugh. So, um, Mia Yim won. She actually won by using, um. Her braid. Yeah, her, like, her braid. She took it, and then she did, like, almost like a stunner type thing. Yeah. And then hit it, and then slammed it, and then won. Which was awesome. Because Bianca had her in, like, on her shoulders when she countered it and used her hair and stunner and move. So, that was an awesome, awesome match between oh, yeah. them. Because I like Mia Yim. She's really good. Yeah. And then, the next match was that new wrestler, Kushida, versus Drew Gulak. Ugh. Oh, man. This was another good match. Um, obviously, show Kushida is actually really good now. You actually see starting it. to like him. He, it shows he's really good now, and Drew Gulak still. <laughs> His, yeah. No, but it was by by an element surprise. Kushida won. He did like he had like he did a face first flat flat move. For the win on Drew Gulak, and then he's looking at Drew Gulak at the after the match, and he's like, one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah. Because Drew Gulak's just calling him a coward and just staring at him. Yeah. Like the audience were cheering for him. And the audience and everybody in back think Kushida is really good. Yeah. He's a good, uh, a good wrestler, but. Drew just keeps saying he's a coward, blah, blah, blah. Then he eventually climbs out of the ring, and he's still standing tall, Kushida. Uh -huh. And then, you see in the back, Io Sharari, she's doing an interview. She's talking about her um, match this Saturday against Shayna Baszler, saying that she's going to win and whatnot. And then Candice LeRae, she pops um, up in the back and says, I have your back this Saturday. I, I'm being in your corner. Yep. Because you had my back, so. So, yeah, Shayna wants to say, you have no friends and whatever. You do. You had me. Yeah. So now we know I was not alone. Yep, she's got, she's got someone's got her back. And then, and then the main event was Oni Lorcan and Danny Birch. Bold. <gasps> <laughs> the two members of Forgotten Sons. And uh, it ends up doing good. It ends up doing good, but it ends up being a DQ. Because of the Street Profits. You see the Street Profits on top of the stage attacking Riker, one of the the three Forgotten Sons, up on stage. And then, and then the Street Profits and Oni and Danny Burtz are... Pretty much going at it. Add in the ring. And, and then, then out of nowhere. Out of nowhere, you see um, Undisputed Error attacking Riker on the... Stage. Right? Yeah, stage area. And then they're in the ring standing tall and fighting. It, and it was pretty much like a big brawl. It was like, it was ring. bad. And... Let's see. And then, of course... And then they're going up to, on the ramp area, and then they're pretty much not done. They take the ladder, they ram Riker, making him fly. Yep. And then, then they set up the ladder over Riker, and then Adam Cole's climbing up the ladder. He sits, and then he goes, Regal, Gargano, at TakeOver? That's undisputed. Yep. Gay gay. Not bae bae, it's gay gay. So Loser. He's pretty much saying he's gonna win. Yeah, right. Probably. I I don't know, but yeah. But that was NXT. Yeah. Um, what did you thought? Did you um? Uh, do you like Mia Yim 
Or do you like Bianca? Do you actually now, since you see more more of a match with Sheeta, do you like him? Yeah, do you think he's pretty good now? Or do you still think that nah, he needs a little more? Yeah. To me, I think he's he's starting to grow on you. <laughs> um. Do what do you think about the Adam Cole and Undisputed Air? Do you think um they're still an all right team? Nope. Are you guys looking forward to uh, NXT Takeover this Saturday? Yep. I have a feeling that I'll tell you that later. But it comes up to it. But now, we're going to do a little prediction video Yeah. on this t recap of NXT TakeOver 25. Now, we have the, like I was talking about, the NXT Championship match between Johnny Gargano and Adam Cole. Now, I want Johnny Gargano to win, yep. not Adam Cole. No, I don't want Gay Gay to win. I want Johnny Gar Gargano to win. I feel like... Um, I feel like Johnny Gargano's going to retain it just because he just got it and he needs more time with it. I don't know. But I have a feeling if Adam Cole loses, something with Roderick Strong and Adam Cole's going to have a feud one time. I just see it. So... Next, we have the NXT Women's Championship, Shayna Baszler versus Ayo Shirari. I want Ayo Shirari. Obviously, we want Ayo Shirari. Oh, yeah. Not Shayna Baszler. Oh, no. No. Ugly thing. I was mad when she took it from Kyrie Shane. Yeah. Ayo Shirari's good. Oh, yeah. She deserves it. <coughs> and now, since she has Candice Ray in her corner... She could have she could have a chance now. So but I think she might win though. I think she actually will win. She I deserves it. I don't think Shayna's gonna win. If she does, she cheats. But But now, we all know what's gonna happen afterwards. Either if she wins or lose, the other two are gonna start. Honestly. It'd be nice if Io got a, another person on her corner, so the, Candace and the other person can take out Shayna's buddies, so you could just focus on Shayna and Io. It'd be really awesome that um out of nowhere, Kari Shane comes with Asuka, and freaking there you go. <laughs> That'd be a shocker, yeah. but it'd be awesome too. Yeah. Would love to see that. Then it'll be four against three. Yeah, though. And now... We got the NXT North American Championship. Velveteen Dream versus Tyler Breeze. Mm. This was a big shock seeing t um, Prince Pretty, Tyler Breeze, show up. Because he, he was in NXT. Because he's the NXT original. I don't think Tyler Breeze is going to win. Probably not. Because he just came back. It would be kind of wrong, it'll just, too. It, it'll be kind of wrong if he did become champion because he just shows up and he gets the title. So, I kind of want Velveteen Dream to win because, just because it's just wrong. Because, you know, I don't like going right in and get title. I don't like that. So. But anyway, I think Dream's going to retain it anyway. You know, I'm not a big fan of Velveteen Dream. But, He's much of a show-off. Yeah. And now, we got the vacant NXT Tag Team, Tag Team Championship, because it got relinquished by the War Raiders, mm -hmm. which is now the Viking Experience on Monday Night Raw, because they want to demolish the Raw now, they want to get the Raw Championship. I think they're on Raw, right? Or on SmackDown, I think they're on Raw. I think, yeah, I think they are on Raw. But, so now, it's going to be the Undisputed Era. First, the Street Profits, first, the Forgotten Sons, first, Oni Lorcan and Danny Birch. Now, so it's a fatal four way. Yeah, this one's gonna be a little tricky because I kind of like two out of the whole group. I like the Forgotten Sons and I like the Street Profits. Yeah. Um, I'm not a big fan of Baldies and Bald, you know, Baldette and Baldy, and especially not Beyond this Good Era. I hate them. Especially um, Gay Gay. 
Let's see. Even though Adam Cole's saying that on the Speed Arrow is going to get the titles back so they can. Because mm -hmm. they're saying it's going to be Undisputed Era and Adam Cole with all the titles. But, um. I don't think only Lorcan or Danny Birch is going to get it. No. That's what I was saying, like maybe the Street Profits or the Forgotten Sons. It has to be one of them, but I'm going to go for the Street Profits. Because I. Yeah. That's why I said either one of them, because I like them both. I think them. Now. Oh, see, I had, there's a match. Matt Riddle for Tragic Strong. Mm. Oh, I forgot this. I forgot they made this match. Um, So we got Matt Riddle, bra. Yeah, bra. Bra, 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 bra. Versus Roger Strong from the Undisputed Era. Um, this one's kind of kind of hard. Because mm, not big. I'm not a big fan of yeah, bra. <laughs> Yeah. No. And then Roderick Strong? Eh. I'm going to just go for Matt Riddle. I think he's going to win. Yeah. Even though he's like, I'm the original bra. Yeah. I think he's going to win. Oh, it's going to be odd to see who wins out of them. Yeah. Who Who do you want to win out of all those matches? Do you, or you want Gargano? Or do you want Cole? Mm. Like for Gargano... Comment for Cole. Who you want to win the women's championship? Shayna Baszler or Aya Shirari? Like for Aya Shirari or comment for, for Shayna. Shayna Baszler? Yes, comment Shayna. Yeah. Say Shayna. Um, who do you want to win the North American championship? Velveteen Dream or Tyler Breeze? Like Velveteen Dream? Comet Tyler yeah. Breeze. Now this four one pretty mm. much just comment for Yeah, you pretty much comment who you want to win the vacant and the C Team Championship because there's four teams. Yeah, that's kinda like a hard one to sit there and like, then we don't know which one you like, you know, so comment so because there's four of them. Four teams. Yeah. And then Matt Riddle or Roger Strong. Yeah. Like for Matt Riddle? Yeah, bro. Or just say yeah, bro in the comments. Yeah, that, would, say, that would be awesome. In the, in the comments, just say yeah, bro. Yeah. Say, I want yeah, bro to win. And, or just type in Roger Strong. Yeah. So, let us know. Yeah, let we, us know. We, yeah, we, we like to know. We like to hear from you guys. Yeah, we just want to know your thoughts. We want to know your thoughts on NXT. Yeah. And, um, yeah. So that was NXT Recap. With a little mix yeah. of NXT predictions. Yeah. So, make sure you like. Comment. Subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.